Well, have you heard? There's a new Cisco Encore exam in town. I'm Anthony Sequeira with IT Pro TV, and in this critical update, I wanna share with you the format of questions that you can expect, and we'll even do some sample questions as well. I've asked Ronnie Wong to join us in this critical update. Ronnie is my co-instructor for the Encore training here at IT Pro TV, and we're super excited to share this critical update with you. Well, Ronnie, let's get started. I've cooked up some sample questions for us that are gonna give us a good sense for both the format of questions they can expect and kind of the level of difficulty a little bit because we'll run through, as I said, some samples. So Ronnie, much like the CCNA, the primary question type that our students can expect is the classic multiple choice. Right. Yeah, so nothing tricky here. It's a straightforward multiple choice. And for this first sample, we've got what technology is found in the control plane of the SD access solution? Hmm, so this would be, uh, I'm gonna say A or B, I'm gonna say B. Okay, first of all, I love what you did there. You quickly narrowed it down. So you're like, TrustSec, no, ISIS, no, great job. And then you got it down to two. And for the control plane, it is LISP. So B, great job. All right. VXLAN would be the data plane. You know, from a strategy perspective, this is one of those classics where don't spend a lot of time here, right? right. Like you either know this or you don't. Maybe on your scratch paper, you could write out like control plane, data plane, a policy plane, and then try and match them up. But don't spend a ton of time. This is one of those ones where you're going to know it or not know it. So there's the multiple choice question type. Next up, we have the multiple correct multiple choice. Now I've got some good news for our test takers. Ronnie's already yeah. tried to solve mm, it. Yeah. I've got some good news for our test takers. Cisco does not do the trickiest of these types. Thank goodness. Thank you, Cisco. Where they go, choose all that are correct. I didn't see any of those. What you will be told is how many are correct. So on this one, we've got what are two options for marking traffic at layer three in the enterprise? And two would be correct. We've got TOS, COS, X, XP bits, <laughs> EXP bits, and then DSCP. So Ronnie, what do you think here? Hate to put you on the spot. Yeah, I'm gonna say C and D. C and D, you are so close, my friend, oh. so close. So you went for layer two and a half. Right. The experimental bits would be used with MPLS. Oh. So that's layer two and a half, that's... I call it. So it's A and D. So we have the type of service marking and we have the differentiated services uh, code point or control point. And those two are the pure layer three markings. And that just proves that Ronnie and I did not rehearse yeah. before this critical. Now, audience. speaking of that though, we don't get partial points for answering just partially right. That's right. So you gotta nail this one, A and D. All right, so that's the multiple correct multiple choice format. There's another format that you can expect, and this is an exhibit type question, and you will get a lot of these. Fortunately, they shouldn't take you too long to solve, like in my example here. So we have this exhibit, and if you look close, you should be able to recognize that this is the output of show interface trunk, that wonderful, primary as I refer to it, troubleshooting command for trunking. And so we look at that output and then we get a question on it. Examine the output shown. What method is in use in your enterprise for 802.1Q trunk creation? LACP, PAGP, static, or DTP. Remember, the exhibit is going to be right in front of you right. in the exam. So you don't have to do what I'm doing here and that's go back and forth. That's great. And Ronnie, looking at that, any idea on what type of trunks we're creating? Yes, the second column itself says mode on, which would be static. Great job. So, and that happens a lot. So you've got all this exhibit info, but it's just one little precise area that gives you the answer. And in this case, it was static 802.1Q trunks. Ronnie kind of cheated because he knows that's how I like to configure them. <laughs> Actually, that screenshot was from our class on right. troubleshooting trunks. All right, and finally, everyone, the last type of question type that you can expect is drag and drop. And they'll look a lot like this. Here you can see I've got BGP, EIGRP, and OSPF. Notice there are six slots over there 
and there's six little components on the left-hand side. So that tells us right away that we're going to use every one of them. Right. Ronnie, I know you mentioned in CCNA, you might get like 10 over on the left. So there's some that you're not going to use. Watch out for that. I don't recall that from the Encore exam, but you know, who knows? Be ready for that scenario. So path vector, what do you think, Ronnie? Where are you going to put That's that? That's going to be BGP. Great job. Link state? OSPF. Great job. Cost metric? It's going to be OSPF. I love that we're putting Ronnie on the spot <laughs> like this. Uh, unequal cost load balancing? EIGRP. Good. Weight? BGP. Good. And bandwidth and delay metric? That's going to be EIGRP. He did it, everybody. Great work, Ronnie. <laughs> Thanks for helping me in this critical update. Ronnie and I are currently teaching the Encore class, and we're teaching all of the exam objectives. So if you want a lot more fun with Ronnie and I in Encore, please get signed up for that IT Pro TV subscription and join us in the really, really fun and educational Encore show. Check out the playlist to see more critical updates and be sure to subscribe to the IT Pro TV channel. I'm Anthony Sequera and thanks for watching this critical update.